Hello, everybody. My name is Marcelo Camocardi. I'm a technical solution architect for Cisco SD-WAN. Today, I want to present you a toner design solution with TLOC groups. Cisco SD-WAN solution is going to form a full mesh network tunnels among all different types of transports. That's default behavior. If you want to avoid this behavior, you have the restrict tag option. It will prevent tunnel formation with different colors. That's a perfect solution for transports such as MPLS. You can enable the restrict tag in the Cisco VPN interface Ethernet feature template. In this example, we have dual data centers. We have MPLS and Internet. The branch has a single MPLS connection and dual Internet. And restrict tag works just perfect for this situation. So we have uh, a single tunnel from the branch to data center one using the MPLS and another tunnel from branch to data center two. It gets more complicated if you have different types of requirements, such as a branch with dual MPLS. With this, you have a couple of options. One of those is creating uh, two different types of colors, like private one for data center one and private two for data center two. With that, we're going to have private one and branch one connecting to private one and data center one and private two connected to private two and data center two. There are some things to consider with this design. If you have some failures, you won't be able to traverse uh, from private one to private two. It will also make your traffic engineering more complex. So the solution for this is tunnel groups. Tunnel groups can be configured on the same tab in the, the feature template of Cisco VPN interface Ethernet. It is a tag. It can scale from 1 to 4.294 billion. The default is zero, and it's supported by Viptela OS, Cisco IOS XE from 16.12 and beyond. With this type of design, we're going to tag each color with a tunnel group. So we're adding the same tunnel group for MPLS, private one, and private two. Business internet and public internet is going to have a different tag. In this case, we meet the requirement of having MPLS connected to private one and private two, and business internet to business internet and public internet. You can rely on tunnel groups for more complex designs, like regional full mesh. You can have east, hemisphere or in west hemisphere and use tunnel groups so each branch is going to connect only for its own geolocation data center. One thing to note is that tunnel group is only going to form tunnels with the same tag or no tag at all. So be careful if you have a branch with no tag at all it is going to form a full mesh anyways. Thank you for watching.